Part three, part three, part three, part three, part three. Good morning, book lovers. It's Malia, and I have something so special for you guys. But first, I need to go to the library. Our first stop is Lucky Perk, an Idaho original. And Booktube Couple and Elizabeth Ann Rees both want to hear about Crush It by Gary Vaynerchuk, why now is the time to cash in on your passion. And this is a small book, and it's a great audio program. And Gary Vaynerchuk is known for his raw, real, and unscripted, and his audiobook is no exception. He goes off script a lot, which is really fun. He gives you steps on how to cash in on your passion. He tells you real life experiences on what of the good and the bad that brought him to be the amazing, dominating businessman that he is today. His stories are hilarious and sometimes heart-wrenching. His steps aren't restricted to face-to-face -face rapport. He ventures out into the social media world and give you tips on how to dominate in your marketplace. I often refer back to his checklist at the end of the book to make sure that I'm on track to building my personal brand. This book has influenced me and changed me for the better and I hope that you can do the same with you. His new book will be released March 8th and I'm so excited so stay tuned for that. Hastings has and always will be my go-to bookstore wherever I want a book. Let's talk about The Alchemist by Paulo Coelho. The Irish Reader and Bedtime Bookworm both wanted to hear about The Alchemist. Why is it such big hype? Why did Al Macklemore call it in his new video? Well, it is an imaginative book full of wisdom. It's about this shepherd boy named Santiago, and he's following this treasure, this hidden treasure in the pyramids in Egypt. And so on his way, he meets a gypsy woman, a guy that names himself the king, and the alchemist, and they all help point him in the right direction. It's mysterious, intriguing, and vividly enchanting. It's about transforming the power of your dreams and listening to your heart. There's a reason why 8,840 people have listened to this on audio program, and probably a lot more, and it got four out of five stars out of those 8,000 people. Here at Groove Coffee, it is locally owned by Colby. He's an amazing, awesome guy, filled with just amazing community. And you saw all those books up there. That was really cool, very creative. And so I just thought that I would give a tribute to this amazing coffee shop here in Idaho. And we're gonna talk about The Secret by Rhonda Byron. And Booktube Couple, Bedtime Bookworm, and Boho Bookworm all wanted to hear about this amazing book, so I needed to speak a little bit more emphasis on this one. It encompasses an amazing secret known by men and women all throughout our history about how to manifest what they want in their lives and how to be successful, how they get what they want, be who they want to be. Personally, I believe that everything happens for a reason, good and bad, and that it's the way we react to them that determines our future. And that's what I personally believe, so it's my opinion. And I love how this book is in like the modern text. So even though it has um, history behind it of historians, scientists, and philosophers from way back when who all have used this alleged secret, it's just told in a modern day fashion that's applicable to us today. This book helped me steer my life towards joy, prosperity, and a life of happiness. And I would rather have that than the alternative. In the end, it's really your choice and what you believe that it should be. So I highly suggest you watching The Secret on Netflix so you can even just skip reading it or listen to the audio program and just go watch the movie on Netflix. And then I'd like to discuss what you guys' thoughts on in the comments below. But I love The Secret. It has changed my life for the better and I hope it does for you as well.
And we're gonna talk about Wolf on Wall Street by Jordan Belfort. Emily Hornberg wanted me to do this review. And this is not for the faint of heart. We listened to this on an audiobook, and the first thing that he tells you is that he's very remorseful and that he feels that his life was just overcome by greed and he is embarrassed about some of the tragedies that did happen throughout his life and how he was overtook by drugs and girls and drugs and money and so in this book he kind of just talks about how he does have a lot of great sales tips to talk about but his life did not greatly reflect what he learned and what he's able to teach to others. Have you guys ever watched the movie? And he loved his daughter and I don't think that it was it was very publicized in his movie about how much he really cared about his daughter. So many really funny parts that actually happened in real life that they didn't put in the movie and I was like, okay, the things that you guys put in the movie weren't as funny as the actual events that occurred. So I love the book more than I did like the movie. I still gave it like 3.5 stars just because of how raunchy it was and I was not expecting it to be this crazy, but I did enjoy it after all and I would publicize the book more than the movie was but thank you guys so much for watching enjoy every moment right look at that sunset it's gorgeous it's gorgeous